This guy here says, squeeze me medium tie-dye chicken. Okay. Here's a little intro until I get one professionally done. Like, comment, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today, we are in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and it is snowing. I don't know if you can see, there's a little snow in my head. Yeah, that's not great. I'm, I'm not a big fan of snow. But what is great is that we are in front of BAM. Is that how you say it? You just shout BAM, like really loud, like BAM. Like Emerald back in the day. Is Emerald still a thing? Like, do, does, does Emerald still have like a show? Is he still around? But anyways, <laughs> BAM is Books A Million. And this is important to me because I've ordered Funkos from here, Funko exclusives, like Neo with the cool little script and a Ouija planchette. And I'm trying to think of any other ones I may have ordered from here. There's a really cool Rubik's Cube, Funko. I haven't ordered yet, but I kind of want. Maybe it'll be in here. So I'm going to head inside here to BAM! Away from the snow. And you should come too! Books bring us together! Walking in here, it looks like we're already greeted by toys. Was anyone aware there is a Britney Spears Monopoly because I certainly was not aware. Mushroom and log pillows. That is, oh this is a cactus. That is not a mushroom or a log. This one's a cactus. These are all cactuses, they lied to me. Wait, that's a log. Why does it say cactus? This is all so confusing. Ooh, look at the artwork on this Hocus Pocus book. That's pretty cool. It's in a section called Page to Screen. And look at this guy. It's Rex the T-Rex. That's a good name for a T-Rex. Ooh, and it's bargain priced. This is also a pretty good look. It's Llama Llama Red Pajama. And look, he really is in red pajamas. Because you have to say it that way, so it sounds like llama. So I'm here in the true crime section and I walked by and it's kind of amazing how many serial killer books there are. Like, look, serial killers, serial killers, the cold vanish, serial killers, serial killers, evil women, serial killers and psychopaths, Charles Manson, hauntings, evil serial killers, fake scams and forgeries. Scottish ghost stories, that sounds fun. Here on the end they have a whole Five Nights at Freddy section and even like this whole selection of books. I didn't know there were books based on the game. I found a new line of stuffed animals. Look at these guys, look. Look, it's like a little bunny as a lion. I absolutely love animals dressed as other animals and I always will. What are you? You're a kitty bunny? And you're a mouse bunny, maybe? And has teeth, though. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what kind of animal he is. And there's this really fat hamster. I guess it's a hamster. Gerbil, guinea pig. But he has a, a little bow. And there's this guy. Look at him. He has like a little side profile. He's super cute. There's more down here, too. Oh, here's our, oh, is that, yeah, that's the lion again. Man, what are you? Oh, look at this cute little skunk. This is a rainbow thing. What are you? Oh, there's another little side guy. And a cute little dog. Oh, and here's a bunny. This is just a naked bunny. This one, oh, but it has a little ball. 
What? This one's naked though. It's not wearing the clothes of another animal. And here, there's this really squishy guy. This little bunny. Oh, and look at this fish. This, his face is ridiculous. Hello. Look at this little otter guy. Look at his little body. It's so fat. And this one. This one. That's that one with the teeth. I don't know what you are. And look at this cute little otter with his little shell and he can like lay on his back and swim along. Mm. Forever friends are 50% off. And look, these ones are like really long so you can like use it as, I don't know, a pillow or a door stop. Does it say? No. It says deer bolster. I don't know what that means. It's really cute. They have all kinds of really long animals. Look at this bunny and this little corgi guy. They're cute. I want to cuddle with them. They're like the perfect shape for cuddling. And in case you want a practical plushie, this one's a cosmetic case. Look how cute. There's also cat paw lip balm. And a cool, oh my goodness, those are little headbands that you can wear. These happy little friends tell you to dream big, and I agree. These cute little deer are lip balm too. Oh, they're so cute. There's so many cute friends here. Look at this guy. Oh, this one's weighted. That's really heavy. That, that, that's a cute little guy. There's a cute little sleeping mask and some bags and bottles. Oh, look at this mug. Oh, there, there's a happiest little land. Oh look at him, he says be brave. There's a whole Pokemon section here and what I really noticed was this Bulbasaur succulent plant holder. And look at this Bulbasaur. He's like made out of like washcloth material and there's like a chrome shiny um oh no what's his name? It's like is it like Hopper or something? It's not Hopper. Score Bunny. I wasn't even close. I um, played the game where these guys debuted, and it's a fun game. My two favorite Nintendo characters are right next to each other here. We have a little Kirby blind box or ball, if you will, and a little Yoshi. But down here, look at this Bulbasaur, it's huge! There's so many Bulbasaurs! There's a whole clearance section over here. I wonder what we can find. Oh. We found a monkey in a backpack. Is this a stethoscope? I think so. We can take care of a little monkey. It says press hand. Okay, little little monkey isn't working. Maybe that's why little monkey is in clearance land. Nope. Oh, here we go. He makes monkey noises. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I could be my own Doctor Strange. I could be Doctor Strange. It's called a spell blaster and look, it really blasts. Here's a little cap friend. That's a snazzy cap, look at that. He has this whole blue thing. What is, what is he doing? I don't even know. I don't know what this is. Thanos has one too. I don't know what they're riding. I found the ultimate thing to um, know the difference between a, an alligator and a crocodile. I am Little Gator. And this is Little Gator because his little mouth is rounded unlike a crocodile that has a long pointy mouth. And I guess if I could do this with one hand. Yep, it's a puzzle. Oh, that's a big puzzle. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, and never mind. The pieces are huge, so it's a big puzzle, but there's not many pieces. Ooh, fun facts included. I, I need fun facts about gators, so I stop confusing them with crocodiles. There's a whole Jurassic World section here, too. But look at these. Look at these koosh balls. Who will cameo in your koosh collection next? Look at that guy. It's so cute. And here's Blue. Ah. 
There's also all the Baby Shark merch you could ever want. Is Baby Shark still relevant? I asked if Emerald was relevant. Maybe we're just gonna play a game of, is this relevant? This Baby Shark looks like he's a superhero. It says reversible two-in-one toys. Bonus wearable Super Shark. Super Shark? They're superheroes now? Here's an Archie McPhee possum. It's called an office possum. The possum that makes the office awesome. I've never seen this one. There's also a raccoon buddy. Look at this guy. How much are you? $24.99. Oh my goodness, it sits on top of your computer. Do you think if I got this for Jacob, he would carry it on the road with him and put it on top of his laptop every time he opens it? Here are Happy Oxidottles, and apparently its name is Xavier. Are they in the box? Oh, look at Xavier! That's a cute little guy. There's a whole box of Xavier's. Here's some more plush over here. It looks like they're from My Hero Academia. But I look over and saw this guy and wondered if he was either Cody Rhodes, Constantine, or um, maybe, and now I can't think of his name, from Supernatural. The, this is Castiel, Castiel. But Castiel would have to have darker hair. So I thought he was everyone, but who he actually is. Look, a wall of puppets. So exciting. So many puppets. Hello. Hi. Hello. I literally just moved over because someone was walking over and I'm standing here with a camera and a puppet. So, hi. Look at this guy. Look how cute and fluffy. And then look at this one. This one's kind of the opposite. He's kind of like a pancake. He's a pig pancake. Ooh, look at this Jason mask. It's a light. It lights up. I don't actually have a Jason mask. And this one lights up. That's so cool. Here in the what we recommend section is this cute little dog guy. But I was also looking down here and there's this tin of Goosebump books with five original books inside. I used to love, oh there's different tins. There's this one and then there's this one. I think I prefer this green one. But yeah, there's a bunch of books inside. And hold on, again, I only have one hand. I was looking at this too. This Mary Poppins box set. I love Mary Poppins. That's really cute. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins comes back. Mary Poppins opens the door. And Mary Poppins in the park. These golden girls glasses are pretty neat there's also this mug back here but look look at this tiki mug it's ridiculous over here is about as many mugs like if you can't find a mug here that you want then you will never find a mug <laughs> like look there's a plague doctor mug there's sleeping beauty there's even nevermore Oh, and look at this one. It's Gloomy Bear. Does anyone else remember Gloomy Bear? These are really cute, too. Here's this cool Robin Hood bottle. Ooh, the lally. And this Ravenclaw with the glitter. Darth Vader. And I was looking, oh, Jacob would like this one. But I was looking down here, and look. Look at these little mermaid mugs. Oh, look at these ones. I love these. And um, Todd. And you'll cry during that movie for sure. If you don't, there's, there's, there's something wrong with you. I, I want all of these, including the crazy cat lady mug. I'm currently wearing my lady and the tramp backpack like this. But they have a lot here. Like, look. Look at the cool, uh, I thought that was the caterpillar. Maybe it's not. It's Pixar. Maybe it's from A Bug's Life. There's a bunch here. Oh, look at this Cinderella one. Oh, that's 
so cute, my little gosh gosh. There's also this gremlins one that's really cool. And look at the wish bear one. Oh, and a hokey. I have found the Funko section. And look, so I found this, which is a BAM exclusive. It's Mighty Thor Unmasked. And look, it's the little Rubik's Cube guy I was talking about in the intro. This is really cute. I haven't seen this Funko before. I have an Ed and Ein, and they're separate figures, but here's one, and Ein's in the little backpack there. I saw that this Funko was coming out online. Bono here, in this cool car, but I didn't know that it was like out. I haven't seen it in person. I'm not the biggest U2 fan. I mean, they're, they're fine. They have some good songs, but um, this is a cool Funko. This is also a cool Wonder Woman Funko. I haven't seen that before either. This is super cute. I don't know if Jacob knows this exists. He doesn't have this one and he collects the Walt Disney World ones. I think I'm going to get this for him. So don't tell him. Shh. It's a secret. Oh, and look at this star sapphire from the Lantern Corps. She's so pink and pretty. Do they have other lanterns? I'm not sure. I want, um, Dexter. And look at this Corella. She's super evil. And Jacob has this one for his Walt Disney World collection. Look at this cool Ouija board purse. There's also these mints and the world's smallest Ouija board. It says Planchette reveals hidden message on board. So, oh yes, actually works. So there must be a teeny tiny Planchette inside. They also have action figures here. And look at this John Kent. I'm not sure. Is this Superboy? It says Superman. I'm not sure who this Superman is, but those colors are really nice and he has the little curl which I said before I must have in a Superman figure. Yeah, it doesn't give me a um, summary of who he is, but he's neat. I also have yet to watch Bad Batch, so I'm not sure who she is, but she comes with this little critter and it looks like his head's upside down. I'm sure that's on purpose, but it looks like like an iguana with like an upside down parrot head. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Hey, look, it's Croc Master. My friend Kurt has him, and I've played with him, or at least have looked at him. But yeah, he comes with this giant crocodile, and look, he comes with these teeny tiny little baby crocodiles too, which I don't think could possibly be to scale. And I laugh at it all the time because if this crocodile's baby is this small, like th that has a lot of growing to do. These guys are odd avocados, probably because they have faces and avocados do not. Oh God, look at this one. That one's, that one's the oddest. And I, this box is literally has been falling on me since I've been filming this. So I need to put that back. You stay, stay there. Avocados. Look at this Batman here. That's a cool Batman. I like the colors. I found a pile of Godzilla. And look, this one has a little zipper pocket. And I'm not sure why, so we're going to unzipper it and see why. Oh, oh, I think it turns into maybe a blank. Yeah. Oh, wait, I know. It must be... Okay, so it transforms into this neck pillow here. Oh, see? That's really cool. I mean, why buy a neck pillow when you can have a neck pillow that's also a plushie. And the neck pillow has the Godzilla on it and, and Teddy turns into this guy. Okay, I found some more transforming neck pillows. This one's a raven that transforms into this pillow. And this one, this one's already like, this one's kind of a mess. So hold on, because he's like half transformed. This one's Bigfoot and it turns into this neck pillow that has big feet. And look at this cute Godzilla. He is so happy. I love him. Like, I am in love with him. Look at this Cthulhu up here, too. I'm sorry, plain black travel pillow. You are now inferior. 
This guy here says, squeeze me medium tie-dye chicken. Okay. <coughs> Dinosaur therapy. Do you ever struggle with self-doubt? Oh, I don't know. There's also a lot of calendars and I realize the time is coming soon for a new calendar. It's a Star Wars calendar. That one's pretty neat. Am I the only one that's still buying calendars? I'm not sure, but I get excited every year to pick out a new calendar. Maybe I'm just a nerd. Oh, there's a Wizard of Oz calendar. That's pretty cool too. And uh, I also just saw over here, this Where's Waldo calendar. Oh no, you can find Waldo every month. Oh, here we go. Here is searching for Bigfoot and his other hidden friends. I mean, I found him right there already. But, oh look, there's the Yeti. There's a little alien. Who else is here? Does anyone see anything else that I'm missing? Any other of his little friends? This is kind of cool. Do I ditch the Star Wars calendar and get this? And break the tradition? Oh, it tells you every month who you're looking for. Maybe I need this calendar this year. So that was Books A Million. It's not snowing anymore now that I'm back out here. It's um, raining now. So I will continue with that on the way home there's some other pennsylvania videos i may make another stop i'm not sure we'll see but there's more videos regardless either in the future or the past in pennsylvania that are fun um yeah i um ended up getting the bigfoot calendar and the star wars calendar one for the office and one for downstairs and then the funko for jacob hold on i'll pull it up because it's super cute so we have Minnie on the little carousel horse here and yeah oh and I also got coffee um I got a gingerbread mocha thing um it's only okay if I'm being honest <laughs> it's not bad so it's it's okay <laughs> so thanks for watching um, I have no outro, which is the outro. I do have a Patreon, which is below, and there's new fun stuff on that, like coloring book pages and other stuff if you um, become a patron. So thanks for watching. That's it. Um, 